Hello, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is going to be your love weekly reading. If this uh, reading resonates with you, please be sure to click the like button and also just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side underneath the video. Um, that will uh, put any videos that I post in the future on your YouTube feed, okay? Now, if this video does not resonate with you, please remember that these are general readings. They do not resonate with everybody. And to also check your moon, uh, rising, and Venus sign. So let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, what love messages do we have? Love messages for Scorpio. June 2019. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So we do have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have some Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aries energy. beautiful cards here Scorpio okay so we do have as an underlining uh, energy the Hierophant okay so we're having some um, you know marriages on the mind either you're looking to get married you know you're in a very deep commitment with somebody or you are married and, and that's the issue here okay so we have the high priestess being clarified by the lovers okay so the high priestess um, can represent secrets and oh, it could also represent a very intuitive person all right. And then we have this being clarified by the lovers. So the lovers um, can mean decisions, but it can also mean, you know, a soulmate connection. All right. So one of two things can be happening here. Either secrets are coming out and a decision has to be made or, um, you know, you're dealing with someone who's very intuitive and this is your soulmate energy or it can mean both things together. OK. Um, so this is either you or your person, Scorpio. Now, here we have the Ten of Cups being clarified by the sun, which is beautiful, okay? The Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. Uh, husband, wife, children, house, I mean, uh, growth, recovery, you've got everything here, okay? Everything. This is, you know, this is your wish fulfillment, having recovery and growth. Now, we have the Page of Swords coming here with... Uh, the two of wands okay so what i'm getting from from this is the two of wands is a decision having to be made as you can see there there's two wands and and wands is going to be leo sagittarius aries energy all right a decision is being made you see they have two wands there their hand is on one of the wands they're making a choice now you're going to be coming in or they're going to be coming in we have a page coming in with a page of swords so messages are going to be coming in um and swords unfortunately does represent lies secrets um, you know, conflicts sometimes. Uh, someone is coming in with some type of message that might have to cause you or your person to make a decision, all right? Now, I, I do believe, you know, again here, we have secrets and, and decisions, okay? But I also do feel like this person is, you know, your everything. Your, your person, Scorpio, you love them very much. You really do. So I do also feel the soulmate part of this. I feel like they are your wish fulfillment. You know, they're, they're Mr. Wifey, Mr. Hubby, you know, the mother of your children, the father of your children. And you do want growth and recovery with them. But there's some type of message coming in that's going to cause you or your person to have to make a decision. This, I mean, look at these cards here. This message coming in is leading to the Five of Cups, which is loss in a relationship. You know, this is people, it's a sudden loss of um, living, like having to leave where you live, having to leave a job, sudden loss, regret, confusion. You know, I mean, this is, this is loss and it's being clarified by somebody who is getting on a boat and moving on to cal calmer waters. So a message may be coming Coming in causing you or your person to walk away you know to walk away because um, you know some type of secret came out now we have the high priestess 
being uh, clarified by the Page of Cups. So this tells me that either you or your person are going to try to come back with, you know, a cup of love. That you're, you're going to try to make this right. Because again, Scorpio, this is a person that you love very much. This is your soulmate. This is family to you. This is like, this person is your everything. So you are going to try to go back to, to, to them with this cup of love. Or they're going to try to come back to you. Don't forget, this can be vice versa. So, uh clarifying your wish fulfillment card we have the five of wands so again this is cancer scorpio pisces energy and this is leo sagittarius aries energy so here we have emotions and we have fire passion conflict um so you know we have this this conflict getting in the way of your wish fulfillment so there's going to be some type of competition here some some arguing some conflicts you having to stand your ground uh, uh scorpio because Something is coming in that's really going to cause uh, problems, okay? Again, here we have the Two of Wands being clarified by the Seven of Swords. Your person is going to feel deceived. Your person is going to feel really, really deceived, Scorpio, or a message is going to come in where you feel really deceived. It can be vice versa, but something is popping off here. Um, and it's it's not does not look well. It's going to cause it's going to it's going to lead to either you or your person having to make a decision. And clarifying the five of cups is the nine of wands. Again, we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces here, and we have Leo Sagittarius Aries here. Okay, um, so you're going through this loss, but this is telling you don't give up. Don't give up on this dream, Scorpio. Don't give up on it because this person is your everything. It's going to be really tough. It's going to be really tough, Scorpio, but don't give up. And, you know, if this is your your person's energy, um, hopefully they don't give up, you know, because I do see love here. So we have the lover's card here being clarified by the Ten of Swords, okay? So the Swords is air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, okay? Now, this does mean separation. This does mean something is going, you know, a divorce, separation, um, it does mean something's going to fall into ruin, but it also means that new blessings are going to come afterwards. There's going to be illumination, light, and blessing, all right? So there might be some separation in a marriage here, but let's see if there's any reconciliation. Let's see. So we have the sun being clarified by the strength card. So the sun is growth and recovery, and strength is like taming a beast you know whatever this fight is whatever this message that comes in whatever the problem that's standing between you and your person scorpio you're going to have to develop a whole new level of maturity to deal with this all right this is going to be big this is going to some be something that's really going to threaten your marriage and um for it to be saved you're going to have to grow as a person hardcore and and this again could be either you or your person if they want this back and they want to come to you with this cup of love they're going to have to really be growing as a person. So here we have the Page of Swords being clarified by Temperance. So they're going to want to, you're going to want to go towards your partner to negotiate. You're going to want to, you know, try to work this out with them. Um, or they're going to want to try to work it out with you. You know, you're, you're going to want some balance in this relationship to, to try to negotiate. Here we have the Six of Swords being clarified by the Star. So there's hope that this person is going to come back, Scorpio. There's hope for reconciliation here. There's hope that everything will work out okay. Let's see if we can get some, you know, because again, there has to be hope. I mean, because there is love here. This, the, you have the lover's card and the ten of cups. I mean, that's just two beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards here. But there is some type of secret. Something's going to come to light. A message is going to come in and it's just going to, whoa, you know, it's just really going to throw, you know, the, it's going to cause, you've got separation here. You've got separation here. You've got loss here. A decision needing to be made. You have, you know, conflict here and somebody feeling deceived. Not good. Not good, Scorpio. So, I mean, we do have two, we have holding on here and we do have the hope card. So whatever happens, Scorpio, don't forget, just hang on. Okay, just hang on. So, yep, yeah, there we go. We have the Hierophant here and under the Hierophant, we have victory. We have victory and success. So the marriage will work out. The marriage will, you know, be successful. 
Um, this person, you know, you feel they're your queen. We have the hempers here. They're, they're your queen or your king. And there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of heated communication, all right? A lot of heated, passionate communication. But I do feel like, um, I do feel a lot of love here, but I do feel a lot of betrayal. Your person or you is going to feel very, you know, deceived. They're going to feel deceived and, and whatever is coming through, they're going to feel very hurt. It's going to force them to make a decision. But I do feel that, um, this card wanted to jump out. I do feel that, um, reconciliation is that, that the marriage will be saved. I, I don't feel that it is going to be a, a lasting separation. Okay, so here we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so again, this is someone that you love very much. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Again, reconciliation. You know, there's going to be some real heart-to-hearts happening here. Codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So again, something is going to come to the front. Something is going to happen here, Scorpio. Either a secret that you've been keeping is going to come out, or a secret that they are keeping is going to come out, and decisions are going to have to be made. The underlining energy here of this deck is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will overcome, which again, you know, we had the star card, hope, hope, Scorpio, okay? So just hang on tight, you know, the nine of wands, hang on tight, don't give up, don't give up on this because there is real love here. There is real love here. And, you know, what else are we going to fight for if we can't fight for love? All right? So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Please be sure to hit the like button if you did. And don't forget to click on the red subscribe button on the bottom left-hand corner of this video so that any future videos I post just will automatically pop up on your feed. Have a great day. Take care.